Hey guys, this is Big Boss 1980-1999. As you can see, this is the DC Universe versus the Masters of the Universe Classics, Lex Luthor versus Skeletor. Now, this is an exclusive toy pack from at Toys R Us. Uh, this actually this this uh, line has been canceled. Um, I, this is actually part of my birthday haul. Um, when I first saw these figures years ago, I, I should have jumped on it then. But the missus got this for twenty bucks, um, so I'm kind of glad she didn't, and I didn't uh, jump on it when I first saw the figures. The only one I wish I did get was the, uh, or wish I did get at the time, was the Superman uh, versus He-Man two-pack. Now the He-Man figure I actually already have. Um, I got it from. Uh, a seller on Facebook. Um, it is the the, the two pack variant, and the, uh, Jerry was awesome enough to throw in a power sword and and He Man shield. It was and and the axe as well. So I appreciate that, Jerry. Um, now as for this two pack, as you see, the the, the box is damaged, so I'm going to open it. So it doesn't matter to me, uh, but includes a full-size Master of the Universe reprint comic book. So that part I'm also excited about. These guys look amazing. Um, as you see, Lex Luthor comes with one, two, three, four kryptonite. And Skeletor comes with a yellow power sword. Now here it is on the back. The box art is awesome on the back. You can see it says Masters Universe Classics, DC Universe, and Skeletal Riding Panthor, and Lex Luthor looking like a BA like he is. Now here's the biography. If you guys want to pause it each time, you're more than welcome to pause it. There you go. Now I, I can't wait to open these guys up. I've been wanting to open these guys up for a while, I just haven't had time. Now, um, I actually have my trusty Exacto. Now, my Exacto is not the greatest thing in the world, but it does its purpose. Now, if, if you're under the age of 13, once again, ask your parents for permission to help you open things with Exacto knives. These things are sharp, so be careful. So, open this guy up with you guys on it. So. Let's see here, I'm going to try to do it on camera as much as possible. Like I said before, I like to keep my card backs, so I'm trying to make this as nice as possible, with the cutting at least. The card's not too well, but I'm going to at least do that with the cutting of this because so I do like the back and I'll show you why now these figures were released in 09 uh, so they still have the new toy smell, and here's the reason why I wanted the card back. Snake Mountain. Still looks badass after all these years. And right here is the comic book. So, let's go ahead and open that out. Let's see, let's get it towards the middle. Let's see. Try like I said, I'm gonna try to do it on camera. Mm. I'm not 
doing too hot. I'm actually cutting into the card. Well, I didn't want to do. So. But I don't want to cut into the comic as well. So just give me a few moments, guys. Or if you guys don't want to give me a few moments, you're more than welcome to fast forward it. That's alright with me. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. You know, I'm not doing too hot with this card back. So, as long as I keep the back of the card, I'm okay. Well, this is cool. Let's see. Get it out without tearing it. Ah, let's give me one more, guys. Try it again. Well, as you see, I kind of scraped it, but that was kind of cool. Um, I'll still use it. Still cool. That is awesome. Now, here's the comic. It's a reprint. Uh, it says, Where Science Ends, Magic Begins, Masters of the Universe. As you see, there is Stratos, Zodak, Men at Arms. Battle Cat, Tila, He Man, Skeletor, Beast Man, and I think that's supposed to be Merman. All fighting at the uh, Castle Grey Skull, and I don't know why Merman isn't a Wind Raider, but hey, okay. So uh, that's the inside of the comic, and there's Superman. Let's see here. So I'm excited to read this. I have yet to read this. I remember reading the seeing the comic when I was a kid, but never read it. MaddieCollector.com, exclusive toys, news, and more. Master Universe Classics, Ghostbusters, Justice League, and DC Universe Classics. Okay, so let's get these guys out. <sighs> out of the package still in the plastic container though but they're out of the package so let's get them out of the container and bust them free Let's go ahead and get Skeletor out. This is the figure I'm most excited for. And here's Skeletor. Let's see here. Give me a few moments, guys. Sorry about that. There. See, there's Skeletor. Still with the rubber band on him. But Skeletor looks like a badass. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. But that's the face sculpt. I, I'm actually thinking about switching the, the heads. Or just keeping this one. And displaying my other one. Since it's separating right here. 
at the leg guard. And this looks like it's separating right here too a little bit. I if you can see that. But here's Skeletor with his yellow power sword that is kind of warped. So I have to fix that. And it looks like some paint is either missing or just never got on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But let's see, here's the power sword. Bright yellow. Can't miss it, so can't lose it. So if I know the munchie has it, I know where it's at. <laughs> and that's the one accessory it comes with. Now there's Skeletor. Now Skeletor stands about seven inches tall. That's standard for DC, I'm sorry, the Mattel. Uh, Masters Universe Classics. As you see, his head goes up, head goes down, uh, all the way around. Also, pop it off, put it back on, arms go up. Because the shoulder guard can't go around, but as soon as you take that chest piece off, it will go all around. Uh, so it goes up, goes down, goes back, goes out, and in. And this figure is really tight, so that's a good thing. Uh, he also has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist articulation, ab crunch, waist articulation. Legs go out, come in, go up, go back. He also has a thigh swivel, single joint knee, and a sh uh, boot cut, which is really cool. He also has ink articulation. Uh, foot goes up, goes back. He also has an ankle rocker. Let's see if I can show you that. There he goes. So yeah, Skeletor is cool. I love Skeletor. Um, now Skeletor, when I was a kid, he used to scare the crap out of me. But he doesn't anymore. And he doesn't scare the crap out of Munchie. So that's good. She actually loves watching He-Man. Let's see here. So let's put him down by Grayskull. Stand up. Okay, now let's get um, Lex Luthor. Now I'm not going to take these these parts out. Um, I don't want to lose them yet, uh, but I will show you them in the package. So let's see. Now this Lex Luthor, I actually already, already own. Um, I actually got him. Gracious. I got him in a two pack with Supergirl. And I got that on Amazon uh, about a year ago or so. And it cost me 20 bucks for those both figures. Um, so I thought that was cool. So I can actually use Lex Luthor's head for a uh, custom, because I actually own three Lex Luthers now. Two of these and an orange lantern Lex Luthor. Now the sculpt on this guy is awesome. I always liked this character, or this particular Lex Luthor. I kind of wish I had him in the regular suit, but like I said, I can do a custom with that. But the sculpt on this guy is awesome. The lot of detail on this. Um, the Four Horsemen did a great job with this. Um, let me see. Here's the back. Now the suit is supposed to be for his power suit to go toe to toe against Superman, because as he is, he cannot do it by just by himself. Um, this is a little known fact. Uh, let's see here. So Lex Luthor has articulation in the head. You can go all the way around. But with this, it kind of hinders it. 
so it kind of me. Well, I think it's made Lex Luthor get stuck. Mm, sure looks like it. There we go. So, he, he can go all around, but with this, it does hinder it. So, he can go side to side, up and down. His arms go up and down. Now, because of this, he can't go all around. But he also does have a bicep swivel. So, he can go all around. Single jointed uh, elbow wrist articulation oh, that one stuck hmm ah now I remember it's actually not wrist articulation it is a glove articulation so you can go all the way around um, he also has this kind of diaphragm piece because of this armor so you can go up and down side to side slightly and just kind of rotate all the way around. Because of that cut, he doesn't have a waist swivel. Um, now his legs are limited, so he can go slightly up, slightly back, um, out, and in. But he also features a thigh cut, single jointed knee. And you look at that detail right in the kneecap. Cool. Um, and a foot articulation. He also features a boot cut as well. Uh, but the foot articulation just goes up and back. Now that is a deep back for ankle articulation. That kind of threw me through a loop the first time I saw that. Um, but yeah, Lex Luthor is a badass. So, let's see here. There they are, standing side by side. As you see, Skeletor towers over Lex Luthor. Big time. Um, Lex Luthor sends about 6 inches. And Skeletor, like I said, sends about 7 inches. Um, but they're both great figures. I, I'm excited that I got them. Um... Now Munch can have a uh, Skeletor and uh, to play with with He-Man, and that's, I'm excited for these guys. Uh, so that's been my review. Oh, I forgot. So here is the the Kryptonite. He has the red, green, blue, and gold. Now the gold takes away. Powers. I think it's temporarily blue. Ah. Uh, okay, I know what the red means. Um, from Smallville, it messes with their emotions. The green takes makes them weak. The blue takes their powers permanently. The gold. Um, I don't know what the gold is, but it used to be the gold used to take all their powers away. But now they changed them around so much, I don't know. Now these these kryptonite pieces are kind of gummy. I'll take one out. I'll take the red one out. So I almost almost lost it already. Let's see here. So that's the red one. See, it's kind of translucent. There it goes. But yeah, that's really cool. It's, um, really small. It looks like candy, so keep away from kids if you have kids. Uh, but so yeah, that's been my review, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll keep making some more. Hey, you guys have a good day and have a good journey.